Hi, I'm Steve from Conductive Labs, and we're going to look at the MRCC arpeggiator in this video. Uh, we have the iRig 37 plugged into port uh, A, and that is a USB host port, and we're going to be using the Volca Base uh, on port 10. Okay, so let's go over. You can watch in the window up there um, over to the extras and go down into the ARP window, and let's have a look at each of the parameters there. So up in the corner there is a 1. As we've seen in other videos, this can be switched from 1 to 6, which means we have actually six arpeggiators on the MRCC. And that's right, they can all be run at the same time. And if you use the same clock, it's kind of cool if you choose different rhythms and different speeds and clock divisions. Um, next uh, tab stop is we have the arm button. So when you press that, it plays it or pauses it. Um, and since I'm not holding anything, you don't hear anything. And then there's the latch button, which I like to use because then I don't have to hold the notes. So there you go. Um, and then now we have your standard stuff for um, uh, arpeggiator. So we have an up mode, down mode, um, ping pong inclusive and exclusive, which repeats or doesn't the end notes. Uh, the order you play them and then shuffle, which is it'll randomize it one time and then repeat that random pattern every time. So it sounds really cool. Uh, but if you have the same notes again, you may or may not get a different pattern, which is fun to play with. Octaves, we have one through three. We'll leave it at one. Oh, well, let's put this back down to up to start with. Uh, gate goes from 10%, 30, 50, 70, 90, and random. Uh, rhythms are uh, just different rhythmic patterns that you can have for your arpeggiator. Uh, clock, right now it's set for internal, and because it's green and has a little clock dial, that's telling me that the internal clock is already running, which is good. If I turn that knob and chose any of the input ports, and there was clock available coming, I should say clock coming in on that port, then the number would turn green with a clock face, and it would let me know that there's clock coming in. Um, clock division, that uh, divides or multiplies how many beats per minute I will be playing the appeggiator at. And then at the bottom here, we have the source, as we talked about when I started the video, the um, iRig 37 is plugged into um, port A. So we've chosen A, and it's the first virtual cable, so it's A1, uh, again, from a different video. Uh, channels 1, uh, destination port 10, which is a red cable going over to the Volca base, and channel 1. So I'm going to hold down a note, and let's say, hopefully it'll play something, uh, this one. Good. If I hold multiple notes down, so now it's playing up one octave, um, gates 50%. Let's go ahead and play with a couple of these settings so we can make it go faster. Yeah, I think I have a filter sweep going. That's really slow. That's cool. Yep. All right, we'll turn it down a little bit. Then we can go up here. If I change a clock, it'll just stop. So we'll just leave that. We'll look at a couple of the rhythms. There's a bunch of them. The little number um, down there tells you how many notes it takes to repeat the pattern. Um, so in this case, it's one because it's straight time. Uh, gate, you can increase it. Or decrease it. And random is fun because it'll sometimes choose uh, uh, longer ones and shorter ones, obviously. And then octave. Yep, let's speed that up a little bit. There we go. Oops. And then direction. Also, um, at any point, if you press the black button, it doesn't matter where your cursor is, it will pause and play the arpeggiator. So you don't have to keep tabbing up, uh, tab stopping up to that button to actually press it. And um, all of these parameters, including the uh, arm button and the latch button, um, are available on a MIDI CC for the MRCC. So you could set up, if you have your own keyboard, that's got some knobs on it, you can use those knobs to 
manipulate these settings on the MRCC. Um, that wraps it up for that. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.